In the previous lecture, we examined how we can transform the location or position of an event from one reference frame to a second reference frame. Now let's actually look at this application of the Galilean transformation for position by looking at the following example. So, a boat that is initially stationary on water begins to move with a velocity of 10 meters per second in the positive direction along the x-axis. So the boat does not move along the y or along the z-axis. Now let the water on which the boat moves be reference frame number one and the boat itself be reference frame number two. Now assume that reference frame number one, the water, is always stationary and at a time of zero seconds the two frames exactly coincide. So the origin of frame number one lies at the origin of frame number two, where frame Frame number two is the boat and frame number one is the water on which the boat is on. Now, if we are in reference frame number two and an event takes place by the boat at a position of x2 equals 50, y2 equals 0, and z2 equals 0, so this is the coordinate point after the boat has traveled for 120 seconds find the equivalent position of this same event with respect to reference frame number one. So basically, the boat is traveling and it traveled for 120 seconds in the positive direction along the x-axis. At that point in time, a person on the boat witnesses some event. For example, let's suppose the person sees a whale right by the boat and that whale is found at this exact coordinate point and this exact position and this is with respect to reference frame number two our boat so we basically want to transform this coordinate position from the boat's frame to the water's frame so let's begin by looking at the following diagram so initially we have diagram a so at a time of zero seconds the two frames exactly coincide so the boat is exactly at the coordinate at the origin of frame number one. So the two x-axes coincide, the two y-axes coincide, and the two z-axes coincide. So x1, y1, and z1 are the axes of frame one, and x2, y2, and z2 are the axes of frame number two, and they coincide. Now, Let's move on to diagram B. After 120 seconds has passed, the boat frame number 2 given by F2 has traveled to the right along the x-axis because it has a velocity of 10 meters per second. And at that particular moment in time, a person on the boat witnesses an event, the whale, and the whale is seen at the position 50, 0, 0 with respect to reference frame F2. So we basically want to find, we want to transform that position to reference frame F1. Now, since the origin of the two frames exactly coincide at t equals zero seconds and because the boat only moves along the x-axis and not along the z or y-axis, that implies y2 is equal to y1 and the coordinate point z2 is equal to z1. So that means since, uh, since y2 and z2 are both zero, that implies y1 and z1 is all so zero. Now what about x1? Well at time of 120 seconds with respect to the second frame of the boat, an event takes place that is 50 meters along the x-axis in the positive direction from the origin of frame number two as seen in the following diagram. So basically this distance is 50 meters.
Now, what exactly is the distance that the boat actually moved with respect to the origin of frame number one? So what exactly is this distance? Well, that distance can be found by taking the velocity of that boat, which is constant, 10 meters per second, and multiplying that by the time of 120 seconds. So the coordinate point x1 is equal to x2 plus v multiplied by t, where x2 is 15 meters, v is 10 meters per second, and time is 120 seconds. That gives us 15 meters plus 1,200, which is 1,250 meters. So that basically means the point 50 comma 0 comma 0 in reference frame number 2 is transformed into point 1250 comma 0 comma 0 in reference frame number 1. So this point in frame 2 is equivalent to this point in frame number 1.